Well, what's different here is a whole new class of supercomputers that is evolving from all things video game technology. When you think about it, look at the work that a graphics chip has to do to build a 3D world in a high-end video game like Mirror's Edge, which is coming out, by the way, early next year. All this action has to be created on the fly, sometimes hundreds of times in a second. Well, now the good news is this raw power has been harnessed in a new way that promises benefits for all of us. This in my hand is the new Tesla card that is drawing big crowds uh, here at the Supercomputing Show, and it's based on a whole new computing architecture called CUDA. To get an idea of why it's so much faster than before, imagine speed reading through a book this fast. Well, no matter how fast you read it, you can still only read it one page at a time. CUDA looks at every page at the same time. Now, what does that mean for those of us who don't really play a lot of video games? It means a lot. Let's look, for example, in the medical area and talk about mammograms. There's talk about this, how this technology could lead to the end of the unpleasant, sometimes painful part of breast scanning. That's right. There's a company called Technoscan, and they're already making a painless breast scanner that uses ultrasound instead of x-rays. It needs a lot of computing power and that had been an issue, but now it isn't. Now you can get your results before you leave the doctor's office. No pain, no radiation. And computer simulations like this one should lead to breakthroughs in drug research. Already scientists are using the power of Tesla chips working together to solve some of the most important mysteries left about how our bodies work, how amino acids turn into proteins. Well, let's take yet another example, weather forecasting and earth terrain mapping. Check out this simulation of a tsunami hitting an island. You know, projects like this in mapping for oil and gas exploration used to take hours on very fast computers. Now companies like Acelloware are able to solve these problems in minutes or seconds. And let me give you one example of how you might use this kind of power. Let's say you want to convert a downloaded movie for your video iPod. Well, the old way would take about two hours. The new way, about 20 minutes. Check this out at badaboomit.com and get a little taste of supercomputing at home. Well, you know, it's a good reminder that even though we're going through tough economic times right now, technology marches on and there's a lot of promise in it for all of us. From Austin, I'm Kathleen DeMoshi.